Shemot, Exodus 40. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, On the first day of the first month shall you set up at the tabernacle of the tent of the assembly. And you shall put therein at the ark of the testimony and cover the ark with at the veil. And you shall bring in at the table and set at in order the things that are to be set in order upon it. And you shall bring in at the menorah and light at the lamps thereof. And you shall set at the altar of gold for the incense before the ark of the testimony and put at the hanging of the door to the tabernacle. And you shall set at the altar of the burnt offering before the door of the tabernacle of the tent of the assembly. And you shall set at the laver between the tent of the assembly and the altar and shall put water therein and you shall set up at the court roundabout and hang up at the hanging at the court gate. And you shall take at the anointing oil and anoint at the tabernacle and at all that is therein and shall hallow it and at all the vessels thereof and it shall be holy. And you shall anoint at the altar of the burnt offering and at all his vessels, and sanctify the altar, and at it shall be an altar most holy. And you shall anoint at the laver, and at his foot, and sanctify it. And you shall bring at Aharon, and at his sons, unto the door of the tabernacle of the assembly, and wash them with water. And you shall put upon at Aharon, at the holy garments, and anoint him and sanctify him, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office. And you shall bring at his sons, and clothe them with coats. And you shall anoint them, as you anointed at their father, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. For their anointing shall surely be an everlasting priesthood throughout their generations. Thus did Moshe, According to all that Yahuwah commanded him, so did he. And it came to pass in the first month, in the second year, on the first day of the month, that the tabernacle was reared up. And Moshe reared up at the tabernacle and fastened at his sockets and set up at the boards thereof and put in at the bars thereof, and reared up at his pillars. And he spread abroad at the tent over the tabernacle, and put at the covering of the tent above upon it, as Yahuwah commanded at Moshe. And he took and put at the testimony into the ark, and set at the staves on the ark, and put at the mercy seat above upon the ark. And he brought at the ark into the tabernacle and set up at the veil of the covering and covered the ark of the testimony as Yahuwah commanded at Moshe. And he put at the table in the tent of the assembly upon the side of the tabernacle northward without the veil, and he set the bread in order upon it before Yahuwah, as Yahuwah had commanded at Moshe. And he put at the menorah in the tent of the assembly over against the table on the side of the tabernacle southward, and he lighted the lamps before Yahuwah, as Yahuwah commanded at Moshe. And he put at the golden altar in the tent of the assembly before the veil. And he burnt sweet incense thereon. As Yahuwah commanded at Moshe. And he set up at the hanging at the door of the tabernacle. 
And he put at the altar of burnt offering by the door of the tabernacle of the tent of the assembly and offered upon it at the burnt offering and at the meat offering as Yahuwah commanded at Moshe. And he sat at the laver between the tent of the assembly and the altar and put water there to wash with all. And Moshe and Aharon and his sons washed at their hands and at their feet thereat. When they went into the tent of the assembly, and when they came near unto the altar, they washed, as Yahuwah commanded at Moshe. And he reared up at the court round about the tabernacle and the altar, and set up at the hanging of the court gate, So Moshe finished at the work. Then a cloud covered at the tent of the assembly and the glory of Yahuwah at the tabernacle. Rather, and the glory of Yahuwah filled at the tabernacle. And Moshe was not able to enter into the tent of the assembly because the cloud above thereon And the glory of Yahuwah filled at the tabernacle. And when the cloud was taken up from over the tabernacle, the children of Yashara'el went onward in all their journeys. But if the cloud were not taken up, then they journeyed not till the day that it was taken up. For the cloud of Yahuwah was upon the tabernacle by day, and fire was on it by night, in the sight of all the house of Yahshara'el throughout all their journeys. 